How's it going everybody and welcome to my Kevin De Bruyne player review. So on screen at the moment, three stats that really impressed me and intrigued me into purchasing his player card. Now 88 short passing, very important in FIFA 16, 85 dribbling and 86 long shots. Now the short passing, uh, typically my playstyle is a counter attack so I will do long through balls and I haven't really found a problem with that. 85 dribbling, uh, his card does insist 84, however, when I checked his in-game stats, they said 85, so I'm going to stick with that. And his 86 long shots, I haven't really used them too often, however, I realize he does not have the long shot taker uh, uh, trait, sorry. And uh, I'm not too sure if it's that important, just because every long shot I have taken with De Bruyne so far uh, has resulted in a corner kick or a juicy rebound. And uh, that being said, you're paying about 150 to 60,000 coins for a player that can create, has good vision, great attack positioning for a central attacking midfielder, and uh, has 4 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot, high medium work rates, and uh, at the same time has amazing, amazing shooting. That being said, a pro and con as you guys are seeing on screen right now, is he's very fragile on and off the ball, so at times, if you do get taken out, you're going to be very fortunate to get a free kick or a penalty shot as you guys saw right there. Other times, you won't be as fortunate. I have a really nice counter attack coming up where I do switch the ball across the pitch and uh, De Bruyne actually gets taken out, no free kick or penalty shot awarded. So that's one thing you might have to be aware about when you're purchasing this player. However, in all honesty, you're purchasing a player that's absolutely amazing. Definitely that midfielder uh, that the BPL is missing. He does get that strong link with Eden Hazard and Fellaini and all the Man City players. So I definitely would recommend him, 150 to 60,000 coins for me. Uh, in all honesty, it's not too much at this point, just because I'm trying out all these players. And uh, the basic reason I want to make this series right here, he gets taken out inside the box, no penalty shot awarded. His free kick accuracy is uh, somewhat decent. I've taken two or three with him, hit the crossbar, haven't scored yet. And uh, as I said before, the basic reason I'm actually making this series is to inform you that you know some of these players are actually really good, and I don't want to see you guys... Uh, wasting your coins or throwing them out the window or getting screwed over by EA's 5% tax uh, without knowing who you're purchasing. So that being said, I have been very lucky to purchase this player. I did manage to get him for about 150,000 coins after the game against Newcastle uh, in which he had a goal and two assists. I'm very doubtful for an inform though just because Aguero did have five goals that game and uh, typically EA don't provide or give uh, two informs to players of the same team if that makes any sense. So all in all, you guys are going to be purchasing a player uh, who's absolutely amazing. Definitely one of my favorite center attacking midfielders so far. Uh, I played with David Silva, Santi Cazorla, and Bastian Schweinsteiger, who is a center midfielder. I realize that. However, De Bruyne is just that player whose positioning is absolutely amazing. You can see him positioned between your 18-yard box and the opposing team's 18-yard box most of the time. That being said, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully uh, you guys take my suggestion. It's been Toxic here, and I'll hear you guys see ya. Peace.